I will demonstrate how to add layers of wool to a miniature donkey. These techniques can be adapted for any long furred animal. Join me on my journey from preparation to finish starting with carefully needle brushed leg fibres, then fluffy tummy and long textured back fur. You'll also see how we create a middle parting on the donkey's muzzle and add a long fluffy fringe and a beautiful flowing mane. Hi, I'm Amanda Adibisi of Fit To Be Loved and on this channel I'll teach you the techniques to create cute and realistic animals. If you would like to become a more confident felter and advance your skills, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. In this video I will cover making a mane. This is by another method that you haven't yet seen. Attaching the mane. Finishing off your animal, such as defining the fur and tidying up. And finally, I will show you the finished donkey. So the challenge we now have is to put the mane onto the donkey from the base of the head here, at the ears, to roughly about here. I'd like to have nice long strands of wool in a very straight row. So what I'm going to do is actually make that row of fur away from the donkey and then we're going to fix it into place afterwards. You could just um, needle felt it into this bit in a nice straight row but I'm just going to show you just another technique of making things away from the donkey and then putting them on afterwards. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer these lovely pieces of wool um, into a straight line. I want the length of the wool to be probably about to this part of my scissors from here to there. So I'm going to use that just to measure. Um, the fibres will go along here, slightly getting shorter near to the end here. So this is kind of roughly a couple of lengths of this. But bear in mind that I can trim it afterwards. Plus part of it will be actually sinking down into the donkey's uh, neck as well. So I, I do need quite long pieces to start with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pieces of the wool and just lay them from left to right on my felting pad. I don't want really thick pieces but just quite thin lumps and just layer them slightly over the, the, the bit before and just carry on doing that. Get some nice striker colours in there depending on what you want for your, your donkey. I'm going to keep that quite um, basic. I don't want this too thick. And already that's quite a good length ready for being on the donkey. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to find the middle. What we're going to do essentially is how we've done it before is we've had the doubling over. So we're going to actually find the centre piece. This time we're going to take a piece of the Corridale. I find this a, a rougher texture to use. It's not going to be sliding around like the Merino. A really nice um, piece of Corridale in the kind of browny colour because it blends in quite well. Roughly going halfway down like that. And then just with the needle, just very carefully needle that into place. Okay, 
and so it kind of forms a middle parting. Okay, very carefully, what I don't want to do is fray the edges too much, is to take that off of the uh, frame pad there, okay, and now on the other side we're going to take another piece of the corridor, not too much, just enough to go across the middle. And again, just with the needle, just go down the middle exactly parallel to where you had the corridor wool on the other side. So you're actually going through um, this piece, through these lovely lengths, and then through to the other side. So you're just basically just kind of stapling them all together. And keep it as straight as possible. And now I'm just going to very carefully, keeping this edge very straight, fold over until you can actually see that edge of corridor there. There we go. So it's like the doubling over effect that we had before, but we've just got a more kind of reinforced bit. And this is the piece that we're going to be actually putting onto the donkey. So a little bit like a comb at the moment, or, um, or a feather with a, a middle piece here. Just a little bit more felting, just to make sure that we've halved it really well and that this base here is really felted in. Okay, these ends you may want to just tuck in just to reinforce it so you have, you've got no kind of frayed edges like so or maybe at the other end in there. Before I show you how to attach the mane, what maned animals have you made? Have you made a horse, donkey, lion? Let me know in the comments below. So with my needle, doesn't need to be perfect at the moment, just trying to get it into place really. Um, I'm just going to bring that right up into the base of the head. And that base, we're just going to really stab in. Make sure you've got, maybe I'm going to use this one where there's a lot of barbs on the needle here. And I'm going to really stab quite deep into the neck on this one. Right, so I'm, I'm taking the needle, going kind of right, it's almost as if I'm sewing this on without a needle and thread. So I'm going to go into the base and into the core wool, into the donkey. I'm going to do it all on this side, putting that into place, just making sure it's quite central here. Okay. And then I'm going to be going on the other side as well. One of the reasons I love needle felting is because I don't have to use a needle and thread. And this is almost like I'm doing that exact same thing. I'm attaching one thing to the other. And the fibres in here are going deep down into the core fibres of here and latching on. And somehow they stay on but it does need quite a bit of felting and I'm going to deep felt in but 
I'm also going to be doing lots of kind of shallow felting in different directions to get the wool to stay in place. So I've kind of done that side very carefully. I don't want to ruin these fibres. Tear them over the donkey. And I'm going to just move that across and very simply again go in almost from the top here deep down into the fibres all the way along the length of the donkey's mane. So by using the centrepiece of Corridor wool it's given it a really good firm base, it's not just going to just pull out um, this should really stay in place here. That's a beautiful mane, look at that. Um, we will be cutting that a lot shorter, but for now, just going to enjoy the flow of that mane. <laughs> kind of reminds me of um, My Little Ponies, when they have all the multicoloured kind of pink mane sticking out and flowing everywhere. It's quite beautiful. I'm just going to carry on doing this. I'm also going to very, very carefully um, just felt down this centre piece as well. And you can see it goes all the way up to the head piece here. The main aim though is to keep this really close together. Um, so yeah, just, just make sure it's felted enough so that it sticks up. Okay, and that's, that's really felted in firmly. So I'm now going to cut that. So taking the scissors, I'm going to start at this long end here, so I'm going to turn the donkey over. I really want this to be tufty, so we're going to start there. You can always resize this when we get down to the shorter bits, but generally, see the curve of the neck there? I want to kind of follow that in my shaping, okay? So we're going much shorter towards the end. Keeping them together I can see sort of whether I've got it right on both sides and I haven't there you can see that needs to just be quite level. Okay so those bits are lovely and long and that actually can merge into the front bit there. I'm going to do this a little bit shorter I think. There we go on both sides. Now I don't profess to be a hairdresser, but um, I do my best. <laughs> um, we could just have a little look on this side. Yeah, go a little bit shorter. And then just go up again. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but you get the general gist of how this is going to go. Do you want it to go this way? Do you want it to lay this way? It's completely up to you how you want it to look. But I think that's a pretty cute little look there with the mane. Um, and once I've got all my other strands here, it's going to really set that off. Look. Excellent. I've almost come to the end of showing you how to do long fur as demonstrated by this little miniature donkey here. All I've got now to do is to take my wool pieces and um, layer from here all the way up over the shoulder and up to the ear here. This is a kind of corner piece 
so you have to be quite careful when you um, do this it doesn't just end up you know a, a very separate bit here and then another separate bit here you will re really need to be careful to kind of try and blend those into that corner maybe fluff it up a little bit snip into um, various lengths that kind of thing or you could take very small pieces um, and almost kind of fold them like this before you actually put them in so that you could almost do this at an angle it's like the bow shape but at an angle like that okay um, the other thing that I will be doing is I'll be getting some darker pieces of the corridor so you saw the kind of the, the lighter brown I'm, I'm going to take maybe some darker pieces and I'd want to actually just blend these into areas where I want some shading so um, I'll just show you very quickly the kind of effect you might get um, you might want to put in a little bit of brown over here and just blend that in um, you know just maybe the odd little fleck of brown where there's some shading maybe around here but it's completely up to you I mean he looks absolutely fine as he is at the moment but you might just want to add just a little bit of detail if you've got the time and yeah the very last thing that I will be doing is going over the whole lot um, where I've been very careful <laughs> about using the plastic and doing the fur under here before doing it on here what I want to make sure is that when I present him to his new owner that he's going to look as good as he can I will take a nice long needle I will go around say this bit for example um, kind of lifting along these pieces to bring it out again but also define the movement where I want it to be separating the fibres up again where they may have matted if you look at the tummy this isn't looking as good as we left it earlier um, we might need to do a little bit of re-fluffing up here um, opening up the fibres in the belly just yeah working through each limb going around onto the tummy and then finally ending up again these lovely layers on top and just redefining them okay and then you can say to the new owner please don't handle too much because you know we really want this to look really beautiful um, and be admired rather than played with too much um, the other thing would be maybe the eyes can get a little bit dull you might just want to kind of dampen that a tiny bit just to make it um, proper kind of black again where it may be a few tufts of the wool have gone into it and just yeah just look at it all um, take a little pair of scissors again maybe trim up little fluffy bits look into the light you can see where there might be you know just the odd little bit there like at the top of the ears um, that you might just want to trim and then yeah that's basically how I'm going to leave it and once I've done all those bits I will show you how he looks. Mm -hmm.